In the previous video, we learned how to create a basic table. The table has a header and rows of data. In this video, let's see how to add a footer to our table. For our table, if I scroll down all the way to the bottom, we may lose track of what each of these columns represent. So traditionally, the same header would be duplicated as a footer which is what we will also be doing in this video. Ideally, you would have pagination instead of displaying 200 rows with the footer at the bottom. Nevertheless, it's always good to know how to add a footer to your table component. You may never know what your next client may have as a requirement. Let's go over this one step at a time. For step one, we head to the columns.js file. Similar to how we specify a header property for each column, we need to specify a footer property. Since we simply want the column name as the footer, for each column, the header is also the footer. So footer is id, Footer is first name, footer last name, date of birth, country, and phone. That is step one. For step two, we need to use React table to render the footer JSX. So let's head to the basic table component and over here from the use table hook, destructure footer groups. Next, we add the JSX, which will be similar to header groups. After the closing T body tag, we are going to add T foot tag. Within the opening and closing tags, curly braces, and then footer groups dot map. This gives us the individual footer group. This returns a TR tag. On the tr tag, we destructure footer group dot get footer group props. And then within the opening and closing tr tags, curly braces, and on each footer group, headers dot map. We then get access to each column. We return a td tag. On the td tag, we spread column dot get footer props, and finally, between the opening and closing tags, curly braces, and we have column dot render, and we pass in the string footer. That is the JSX to render the footer. We need to format this and then for our third and final step head over to table.css and on line 21 apart from the th tag we also specify the td tag inside the tfoot tag so comma tfoot td so this is to style the footer section if we now save all the files and head to the browser, scroll all the way to the bottom, we can see the table footer. So now, if you have scrolled all the way to the bottom, you still get an idea of the data that each column represents. So that is how you add footers to your React table. In the next video, let's talk about header groups.